Mili has been diligently growing crops ever since Maul could remember. No blight could take her down. She'd always start anew. There would be lines each month for the fresh harvest. Moore can hear the silence under the island's crust, machines aching, begging her to fix them. Which one are you? Polo? Rudy? Maybe Juno? Millie named every chicken, but they all look the same to Mo. Does the world have to end for you to come and visit me? Millie jokes at her younger sister, her sarcasm masking her disappointment. Millie tries to reach through and speaks earnestly. It's nice to see you, Moore. I missed you. And she asks Moore to come in for stew. But as if unjustly charged for a crime, Moore defends herself, pushing Millie away. I only came to make sure that you're doing okay. Miri nods. She spent all morning trying to bring her animals inside. She reaches out once more to Moore. I can help you. I'll get ready and I'll come too. No, Moore cuts her off. I'm quicker without you tagging along. I got this. You take care of your chickens. They used to be our chickens. Miri snaps in frustration. You used to care. What even am I to you? For more, it's just another confrontation on the island's surface. Another angry outburst from her irate sister, making more long for the calm and dark below.
But for Miri, it is one more ill-fated attempt to get her sister back. If you leave now, I won't be here when you get back. I mean it this time. is Fridolin, Mora calls. The one that runs away. Fridolin will escape again, but he just needs his own space. More can sympathize with that. dark and bitter to wake her in the early hours. Mo would much rather sleep in and stuff herself with the sugary walnut cookies. Mo remembers watching the stars streak across the sky. Miri's face lit by the moonlight, full of wonder, both wrapped up warm in their duvets, their shared silence saying everything they needed. had a system for the beds, but now, Miri always sleeps on the top bunk. herself to play the cello after the fungus ate her arm. Moore never found the right moment to say how impressed she was. Moore hated the rust bucket of a bath but it was still preferable to cutting your feet on the rocky beach again.
I won't be here when you come back. I'll leave you on this forsaken piece of rock. How many times has Miri threatened to disappear? Not once going through with her word. She always comes around in the end. For a moment, more regrets not going back to get her mask, but she's never been one for moving backwards. Even in this vision, conjured by the fungus in her lungs, the way out is forward. The lighthouse that once brought travelers home, trade to these islands, and customers to the tavern, now stand still. <laughs> 